Hepburn Romanization The Hepburn style was developed in the late 19th century by an international commission that was formed to develop a unified system of romanization. The commission's romanization scheme was popularized by the wide dissemination of a Japanese English dictionary by commission member and American missionary James Curtis Hepburn, which was published in 1886. The modified Hepburn system, also known as the Standard System, was published in 1908 with revisions by Kano Chigoro and the Society for the Propagation of Romanization. Although Kunrei romanization is officially favored by the Japanese government today, Hepburn romanization is still in use and remains the worldwide standard. The Hepburn style is regarded as the best way to render Japanese pronunciation for Westerners. Since it is based on English and Italian pronunciations, people who speak English or Romance languages, for example, Italian, French, Portuguese and Spanish, will generally be more accurate in pronouncing unfamiliar Japanese words romanized in the Hepburn style compared to Nihon Shiki romanization and Kunrei Shiki romanization. Hepburn is based on English phonology and has competed with the alternative Nihon Shiki romanization, which was developed in Japan as a replacement off Japanese script. In 1930 a special romanization study commission was appointed to compare the two. The commission eventually decided in favor of a slightly modified version of Nihon Shiki, which was proclaimed to be Japan's official romanization for all purposes by a September 21, 1937, cabinet ordinance. It is now known as the Kunrei Shiki romanization. The ordinance was temporarily overturned by the Supreme Commander for the Allied Powers, SCAP, during the occupation of Japan, but it was reissued with slight revisions in 1954. In 1972 a revised version of Hepburn was codified as ANSI Standard C39.11-1972. It was proposed in 1989 as a draft for ISO 3602 but rejected in favor of the Kunrei Shiki romanization. The ANSI C39.11-1972 standard was deprecated on October 6, 1994. As of 1978 the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of International Trade and Industry, and many other official organizations used Hepburn instead of Kunrei Shiki. In addition, the Japan Times, the Japan Travel Bureau, and many other private organizations used Hepburn instead of Kunrei Shiki. The National Diet Library used Kunrei Shiki. Although Hepburn is not a government standard, some government agencies mandate it. For example, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs requires the use of Hepburn on passports, and the Ministry of Land. Infrastructure and transport requires the use of Hepburn on transport signs, including road signs and railway station signs. In many other areas that it lacks de jure status, Hepburn remains the de facto standard. Signs and notices in city offices and police stations and at shrines, temples and attractions also use it. English language newspapers and media use the simplified form of Hepburn. Cities and prefectures use it in information for English-speaking residents and visitors, and English-language publications by the Japanese Foreign Ministry use simplified Hepburn as well. Official tourism information put out by the government uses it, as do guidebooks, both local and foreign, on Japan. Many students of Japanese as a foreign language learn Hepburn. There are many variants of the Hepburn romanization. The two most common styles are as follows. In Japan itself, there are some variants officially mandated for various uses. Details of the variants can be found below. The romanizations set out in the first and second versions of Hepburn's dictionary are primarily of historical interest. Notable differences from the third and later versions include The following differences are in addition to those in the second version. The main feature of Hepburn is that its orthography is based on English phonology. More technically, where syllables that are constructed systematically, according to the Japanese syllabary, contain an unstable consonant in the modern spoken language, the orthography is changed to something that better matches the real sound as an English speaker would pronounce it. For example, is written she not say. Some linguists such as Harold E. Palmer, Daniel Jones and Otto Jesperson object to Hepburn, as the pronunciation-based spellings can obscure the systematic origins of Japanese phonetic structures, inflections, and conjugations. Supporters argue that Hepburn is not intended as a linguistic tool. The long vowels are generally indicated by macrons, macron. Since the diacritical sign is usually missing on typewriter and people may not know how to input it in computer keyboards, the circumflex accent is often used in its place. The combinations of vowels are written as follows in traditional slash modified Hepburn. 
In traditional and modified. In traditional Hepburn. In modified Hepburn. In traditional and modified. In traditional and modified. In traditional and modified. In traditional Hepburn. In modified Hepburn. In traditional and modified. In traditional and modified. In traditional and modified. All other combinations of two different vowels are written separately. The long vowels indicated by Chunpu, within loan words are written with macrons, A, I, U, E, O, as follows the combinations of two vowels within loan words are written separately. There are many variations on the Hepburn system for indicating the long vowels. For example, can be written as in traditional and modified, in traditional Hepburn, in modified Hepburn. In traditional Hepburn, in modified Hepburn, elongated, or geminate, consonant sounds are marked by doubling the consonant following a sock who own, for consonants that are digraphs in Hepburn, sh, ch, ts, only the first consonant of the set is doubled, except for ch, which is replaced by tch. These combinations are used mainly to represent the sounds in words in other languages. Digraphs with orange backgrounds are the general ones used for loan words or foreign places or names, and those with blue backgrounds are used for more accurate transliterations of foreign sounds, both suggested by the Cabinet of Japan's Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology. Katakana combinations with beige backgrounds are suggested by the American National Standards Institute and the British Standards Institution as possible uses. Ones with purple backgrounds appear on the 1974 version of the Hyojin Shiki formatting. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.